Men who spend six hours in front of the mirror to prepare themselves. Yes, that is what we're going to talk about today and much more. So don't miss out this episode. So today we are going to talk about wannabe tribe and specifically what's going on with them. Okay, the wannabe tribe um, inhabits the regions of Niger, Nigeria, uh, Cameroon and Chiad. And they're very well known for prizing male beauty over female beauty, which is already very interesting per se. What's happening with them is that basically men are the ones supposed to take more care of themselves, to look beautiful. There's an expression in uh, wannabe culture that is kaiyo nawado or something like that. And what that really means is hurting men. Not as a man that hurts, but as a man whose beauty hurts. Because, let's be clear, when it comes to beauty, men are the pageants. When it comes to beauty and sex, women are in charge. Specifically, there's a festival, a dear world festival, where males compete for becoming the winner. The best male pageant, the most beautiful man in the tribe. Besides applying makeup every single day and wearing embroidered beautiful uh, dresses, what would a be a man do to prepare for this male context is to prepare themselves for six hours every single day till the moment of the competition. How do they prepare themselves? They apply a lot of makeup. Very simple, right? They have this uh, ochre sort of line on their nose. They also apply black lipstick so that their teeth are gonna look whiter. And there's a lot of temporary tattoos that they create with their makeup on their faces. So what happens is that the people who are going to judge them are females, are women, specifically daughters of a former champions. And the guy who wins will have sex with this woman. I'm not sure um, how many women he could have sex with, right? But the point is they're gonna sleep together. Specifically, they are going to have sex on a palm leaf that men are carrying throughout the dances. Now the dances, yucky, last for hours and hours. And even though the weather is extremely hot, it does not matter. That is the job of males, to look beautiful, to dance for hours on end, and eventually the winner can have sex with the woman who has judged him as a winner. Now, it is important to understand that all males can participate to this tribe. I don't know if there are age criteria here that would exclude certain men from participating to this context, to the Jero World Festival, but what we know is that being married is not a criterion for exclusion. Specifically, what we know is that polygamy is consented, allowed, permitted, and welcomed. You might get tired of your husband, right? And you might have just one husband um, at a time. But the point is that you could take up multiple lovers. That is true for women and for men. There's an expression, munyal, which refers to passions. Patience, because of course, go ahead and tolerate the man that prepares himself for hours and hours applying makeup, doing basically nothing for the survival of the tribe itself. Tolerate that, it's an important part of that culture. And also, um, Munial would refer to the several infidelities within the marriage. The point here is probably to be more happy than to be uh, faithful to someone. And that says it all, kind of thing. Um, I think we should learn, and I love the fact that women are in charge, to be honest. Um, and I think we all should learn, uh, because we do have this construction um, in societies about what marriage is or what it's supposed to be looking like. Um, and we judge other people on the basis of that. But with that being said, I honestly want to leave you all the comments. So please don't forget to comment below. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk next time. Bye!